Greetings, Ben Murray here with another edition of SAS Metric School, and it's a special edition because this is the 100th episode of SAS Metric School. So man, time just flies. So I thought it'd be appropriate to talk about implementing SAS Metrics because this is about tips and tricks with implementing SAS Metrics, finance, accounting, in our SAS business. So let's talk high level. How do we implement SAS Metrics? Where the heck do we start? And again, I always say the right metrics for the right stage of our business. So if you're 1 million ARR, are you going to calculate every single metric in my five pillar SaaS metrics framework? No, we're going to be focused on pillar one and growth. Where are we, are we getting new customers? Where are we getting expansion? How many new customers are we acquiring? And then we'll be focused on pillar two. We're acquiring customers. Now we got to retain them. So what's our customer retention, our gross revenue retention? our net revenue retention. So the right metrics for the right stage of our business. Now let's go a little bit larger. What if we're 10, 15 million ARR? Then yes, you should have a metric calculated in each box of my five pillar SaaS metrics framework and then possibly segmenting those metrics as well. So it's really important to figure out our stage of our business and what are those relevant metrics. Sometimes I see early stage SaaS companies where potential investors are asking for LTV to CAC, but that's all over the place because we're not acquiring enough customers. We're not sure of our gross profit. It's volatile, just volatile data, not enough data going through our business to calculate some of these metrics. So there's a sequence and I have an arrow in my five pillar SaaS metrics framework that goes left to right for a reason. We talk about growth first, then pillar two is retention. Pillar three is our margin profile. Pillar four is our financial profile. And then finally, pillar five is our efficiency profile in the form of sales and marketing efficiency and org efficiency, also very important. So to pull this all together, when you're ready to calculate all these metrics, there are four key data sources that I use. First is our CRM data. If we have that closed one outbound motion, if we don't, then I'm going to create that bookings data from my MRR schedule. Data source number two is our financial data. So of course, our P&L, cash flow, balance sheet coming from our accounting system. Data source number three is our HRIS data. I need headcount rosters. I need historical FTE trends by department. And finally, that fourth key data source is any operational or revenue analytics data that we can pull into this framework. Because that comes into play if we have any sort of transactional re revenue, variable revenue, where I need to know transactions counts quantities. So operational data also comes into play here. So again, right metrics for the right stage of your business. In the show notes, I'll put in the link to my five pillar SAS metrics framework so you can check that out and see what metrics are relevant to the current stage of your business. Hope you enjoyed episode 100 today.